です。What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy, Marlon. We are back at it again with another video. So, if this is your first time watching, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. Turn on that post notification bell so you never miss out on the daily updates that we have in the land of PlayStation and Xbox. If that is something that intrigues you, then this is the place for you. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Okay, so YouTube changed the way how they actually have the live stream set up. So no longer I'm able to just go live instantly like I usually do. Uh, apparently they have some type of preview or something like that going on first, and then you can go live, which is very weird and interesting. But nevertheless, uh, sorry for the delay. Oh wait, now it's saying I'm almost a minute in okay hopefully <laughs> hopefully there's no delay on anything that i'm actually saying let me know how the stream is and um yeah so it's saying that i'm a minute and nine seconds or 12 seconds in let me know if i'm matching up with what i'm doing right now live or else i might have to do some other adjustments all right uh yes what's up guys what's up welcome to the stream hit that like button for me hit that share button is everything okay with the stream can you guys hear me like is my mouth matching up with what i'm saying let me know in the comments youtube just changed up their um youtube just changed up their live streaming uh infrastructure so it's a little bit different um i can't go live instantly like i used to so I have to schedule a live stream and then it's my not first time, but I'm not really used to doing it. So if you hear me talking before the stream started, it's because I guess it was in preview mode or something like that. So I don't even freaking know what's going on right now. So is everything live or is everything good? Can you guys hear me? Is there any glitching, any issues? Let me know um, because this is weird. Um no delay lip sync is good okay okay all right good 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 i just want to make sure everything's good okay um so i know you guys missed me yesterday i had some things that i had to take care of so i couldn't go live yesterday like i wanted to um but nevertheless i wanted to highlight a couple things here so first thing um we're going to be talking about the ps5 pro price and size revealed rumor and also we're going to talk about GTA 6 because obviously we've been hearing that GTA 6 was delayed, um, apparently slightly delayed till end of next year and then possibly being pushed into 2026. And then also apparently it was lagging behind development, which apparently was a lie. Uh, so we do have some updates because ironically enough from what we were hearing that Rockstar's, oh, well, no, not Rockstar's, but Take Two's stock dropped because of that rumor. I'm telling you, man, people really and truly want to play GTA 6, like very badly. You know, like people are like, what? Delayed? What? Oh, no, no, no. So their, their stocks took a hit, apparently, with the news that was making the rounds from Kotaku. I never really trusted Kotaku, man, because I was like, man, these people and their sources, you know, is never accurate. You know, very seldom Kotaku might get a few things right or whatever, but most of the times it's just like all wrong, wrong, wrong. And I knew it. I was like, yeah, this one is definitely going to take with a heavy, heavy ocean of salt because, mm -mm. so apparently GTA 6 is still on schedule. But the fact that that rumor was going around and making headlines and, stuff like that yeah allow apparently uh take two stock dropped a bit uh because of that hopefully you guys played the stellar blade demo and everything let me know y'all thoughts in the actual comment section on that um i did play the demo when it first came out so i've already played it finished it already uh for a lot of you dudes were into that stellar blade uh demo stream i don't know if some of you guys remember that but I was um, playing the demo and stuff like that. Yeah, I had my concerns with the game in terms of the stiffness of the controls and stuff like that. And I started to see like more and more people talk about the stiffness of the movement 
especially when it comes to the platform and stuff. It is definitely a game that you have to learn how to parry and dodge. Pretty much a lot of you dudes know how to parry, know how to dodge and counter and things of that nature. And the control can be a little bit of learning curve for some people. Um, going into Stellar Blade, maybe it's your first time playing a game like Stellar Blade. Um, in that particular Souls type, Bayonetta type, Devil May Cry type genre. But it does definitely take some time to get used to and things of that nature. But yeah, let me know if you are playing Stellar Blade and if you are enjoying it. Um, like I said, I've already played it and, and enjoyed it already. Uh, but yeah, let me know. Also, we're going to be talking about Stellar Blade 2. So obviously, we know Stellar Blade 1 ain't even out yet, but there are talks about it. And this is something that's significant and very important to talk about because, you know, I talk about it a lot of times on the channel and I tell you guys, and I said, hey, you know what, um, guys, I need you guys to buy the games, right? I say, I say that countless times. I need you guys to buy the games, buy the games, buy the games, buy the games, um, because, you know, when the games are good, well, you expect people to buy the games. When the ba the games are bad, then I don't expect people I don't expect people to buy the games. But this is a case where I feel like Stellar Blade is definitely going to hit its goal in terms of how many copies they want to sell, which we're going to be digging into all of that here today. Um, also, we're going to talk about Dragon's Dogma 2 in terms of console update because obviously the game's been running at what below 30 frames so it's not a cap 30 frames uh so they just dropped the massive updates for consoles so if you're one of those people that is just literally hype uh you know for the game and things of that nature then hey uh or maybe you've been on the fence because you've just been waiting for them to update dragon's dogma 2 give a much more stable frame rate at 30 frames for you then um obviously we do have some updates there as well and jim ryan retires today or yeah 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 basically today um so today is the final day uh for jim ryan after 30 year run after a 30 year run holy freaking cow so you already know the new uh you know play, uh playstation you know playstation ceo right now is hiroki totoki so, yeah, he's stepping in for Jim Ryan. And let me tell you, that man is not playing right now. So farewell to Jim Ryan. Um, it was a, a decent run. I think he did a decent job, you know, with, you know, the PS5. He was responsible for the launch of the PS5 and the success of the PS5. Obviously, the PS5 generation is not perfect. Obviously, his push for live service games end up hurting, hurting Sony in the long run. And, you know, also with uh, the games, the first party games, you know, costing a lot of money to make, which I think is just completely ridiculous. I mean, they were just having these super, super duper high budgets like Spider-Man 2, 300 million, you know, Horizon Forbidden West, 200 million. Most movies don't even cost that much to make to begin with. So there's just a lot of things, man, that Jim Ryan was doing that i guess was wrong right um for 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 sony and obviously for playstation and such because stuff was just ridiculous and obviously you know uh hiroki kotoki had to go in and, and clean up a lot of the mess that uh that was left behind but yeah 30 years man that's a long time a lot of people have different uh conspiracy theories behind jim ryan basically saying that yeah um i guess he was asked to go or whatever the case may be and not just fully retiring on his own but who knows right who knows um at this point the fact that the fact of the matter is three there there was like I, I if i can remember there was like three times when i sat down and i said to myself i said man i don't even know what's going on at playstation right now like like what's going on with these live service games how are these live service games are gonna be what's up with these new ips you know like we're still waiting on these new ips and what's up with all these remakes you know like there's so many questions people have when it comes to jim ryan and it's just like bro 
we're getting remakes after remakes remaster after remaster live service crazy live service push stuff getting canceled stuff getting delayed i mean what's happening but nah 30 years is a long time to be at a company i know if i was at a company for 30 years i would want to hang it up too regardless if they tell me to go or not <laughs> you know what i'm saying because when you work for these mega corporations guys you do have to understand that at any moment they can say hey you gotta go <laughs> you, you know you gotta go right for whatever the reason is maybe you're not performing well um you're not adding insane value to these corporations and they can tell you hey you got you got to bounce so um but yeah farewell to jim ryan man i hope i wish him all the best in his future endeavors and you know the the great things that he has done for 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 playstation i thank him for that the things that was not so great hey hopefully you know uh hiroki Kotoki can make a better decision and be a better playstation ceo for the time being and lead playstation in the right direction because i'm telling you man it all comes down to the head Wh whichever head of whatever company or whatever brand it comes down to the head and if the head is not doing a great job then the rest of the people that's under the head is not going to do a great job right and i feel like hiroki kotoki is already coming in and doing a lot of work a lot of cleaning up like reconstructing playstation hey why are we spending money on this when we need to spend money on this we're spending way too much money on on this we need to cut back on this only spend money on what we need you know like all stuff like that like there's a lot of stuff even the stuff with bungie right now i just felt like on the jim ryan's leadership again the bungie situation what in the entire heaven I still do believe that was a waste of friggin' time buying Bungie because Bungie is literal dead weight at this point. Like there's no, <clears throat> this is me. It means nothing. It's just like carrying a bundle of, of wood, like just, just heavy freaking weight for no reason. Like, or carrying a bunch of heavy, nothing. It's just like paper, like, like thin pieces of paper. Like, I don't even know what else to even explain it. Like a bunch of garbage in a can or something. I don't know. Like, I just feel like Bungie is just a waste of friggin' time. And that $3.5 billion of money that they wa wasted on friggin' Bungie, they could have put that into some development studios and put that into some new IPs or something in that nature. But no, we got to sit here and we got to waste money because we're rich and we have money like Microsoft. But yet still, Nintendo is the richest company in, the, uh, in Japan right now. Not Sony, Nintendo. So it just goes to show you, you don't see Nintendo buying up freaking publishers. <laughs> you don't see them doing that in order to compete. And Sony don't need to do that. And I've said this numerous times. Don't do every single thing down to the T on what Microsoft is doing. You carve out your own path and stick to that. All Sony got to do to challenge Microsoft is stick to what they do best. And it's to stick to the games. All this extra crap that Jim Ryan was doing was not necessary you know what i mean everything he just reacting 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 oh soon as they buy but but there's oh we need to buy something no you don't people people been saying throughout the whole acquisition you know uh period of time you know the buyout period the consolidation heavy cons consolidation period of time oh yeah sony need to respond no they don't sony need to not respond what Sony need to respond with is friggin' games. That's what we want. Stop responding with acquisitions and respond back with the games. That's how you get back at them. You get back at them with games. Show great games, games that are fully utilizing the friggin' hardware, and then we'll be fine. And stop wasting our friggin' time because you buy up all these friggin' companies and then we gotta sit here, we the gamers, we the consumers, we gotta wait for the results. We sitting here scratching our fingers and twinkling our thumbs and trying to figure out like, okay, where's the results at? We still can't get nothing from Bungie yet. Not a darn freaking thing. Who knows what marathon is going to turn out to be, right? And we, for all we know, um, Bungie is probably going to lose their independence because everything is in shambles at Bungie's, uh, Bungie right now. Every freaking thing is in shambles, right? Leaders down to the leadership down to schedules, down to management, all of that. Everything is crumbling right now at Bungie. Makes no friggin' sense. 
You spend over $3 billion on this and waste of time, literal waste of friggin' time. So guys, 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 guys. Now that Jim Ryan is out, out with the old, in with the new, Hiroki Kotoki is in, please, please, please. Microsoft is not going to slow down, okay? Microsoft will not slow down. After they, They're just waiting to cool off from this whole Ac uh, Activision situation. They're just waiting for this to for the dust to settle on this. Once the FTC is off their backs and everybody else is looking at them crazy for buying Activision, they're going to keep buying again. You see what I'm saying? They're going to keep buying again until they can't buy anymore. And Sony don't need to react and be like, oh, we need to go buy. No, stick to what you do best. Listen, we already got a situation going on right now where a lot of people feel like, the PS5 itself is not being fully utilized. Are you guys hearing anything I'm saying today? A lot of you dudes feel like the PS5 is not being fully utilized. So what that means is we're four years in, which means you need to get to work. You need to make sure, Hiroki Kotoki need to make sure he's going to every studio that PlayStation got and 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 I don't not it's not really his job, but it's basically Herman Holt's job. Herman Holt's better make sure he's going to every single PlayStation studio and making sure that these games are right. Make sure that Stony sticks to what they do best and utilize the friggin' hardware. That's what you need to do. You don't need to be buying. That's not your path. That's not what you supposed to be doing. You let Microsoft buy, 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 because they can afford to do it. And that's their friggin' business. You, on the other hand, stick to, stick to doing what you do best. Stick to your guns. Stop playing. See what I'm saying? It, man, it's so annoying. But only thing that we can hope is for a better PlayStation at this point. Now that we are shifting leadership, all we can hope is for a better playstation the areas where playstation was struggling in under the leadership of jim ryan i hope that hiroki kotoki can shine even better you see what i'm saying i hope where where jim ryan failed at hiroki kotoki can can make up for that i'm so serious man because this is year four and people are mad right now people are like marlon where are the games where are the new IPs at? He's all Hiroki Toki already came out and said, listen, like the existing franchises like God of War and your your Spider-Mans and all those type of games, your you know, sequels and stuff is not until next year. So we it's already bad enough. We gotta wait till next year. So this year better be amazing. It better not be another 2023. I'm so serious. It better not be another 2023, or else it ain't gonna be listen me, man. You better make sure that this year ain't no 2023 in terms of first party. You better make sure that these new IPs, I mean, we've been hearing about new IPs for years now at this point, three years, four years, five years. We need new games, new games that are utilizing PS5, okay? Digging deep into the PS5 metal conductors, all right? Uh, the the chipsets, all right? Uh, the motherboard, everything. We you better make sure you utilize every friggin' inch of that PS5. Because now we have developers coming out here saying PS5 Pro ain't necessary. And PS5 still have a lot of life left into it. I'm even seeing people saying that Death Stranding 2 or whatever is running on PS5. Wow, if it is running on PS5, maybe developers are really starting to dig in now. Maybe developers are really starting to dig into the PS5 and really show us what the PS5 can do. If that is true, I also see other people saying that, well, it's probably running on the Pro. Who knows at this point? But if Death Stranding 2, based on what we saw so far, if that is really running on PS5, wow, that is really amazing. And if that is the case, then we definitely don't need no pro. We definitely don't need no pro because I know the PS5 have a lot more left in the tank than what we're getting right now. And the problem is we have so many lazy friggin' developers, lazy, just lazy, right? And not really fully utilizing the hardware. Oh no, we'll fix it later. Oh no, 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 no. It don't matter. Oh no. We just still, we still going to charge full price. 
there need to be a law in place that if you do a half job, you get half the money. Facts. Facts. Right? If you do half the job, you get half the friggin' money. Mandate that law. Put it into place. Half job, half money. Because a lot of these developers, all they be doing is half, half job. Half job. Copy and paste, half job. And that's bull crap because we got to sit here. We got to spend 70 friggin' dollars on these games, right? Mm -hmm. And then, and then we sitting here waiting for them to fix this and fix that. Nah, bro, do it right. The first time my dad always say, do the job the right way. Do it the right way. No excuses. Do the job good and done. Do it right. Stop half doing stuff. Yep. That's a lot of, that's a lot of the nonsense that we getting in gaming now. A bunch of half done jobs and we still got to go in our pocketbooks and spend 75 80 dollars upwards of a hundred dollars over a hundred dollars on these games y'all think it's a joke nah this is the reality man you guys know i keep it real with y'all i'm so sick and tired of it and ps5 pro is gonna come out and it's gonna be the same thing you know why because a lot of these freaking development studios they are so freaking corrupt and they don't freaking care. A lot of these publishers, it ain't just the developers, guys. It's not the developers' fault 100%. It's the freaking publishers' fault too. Because they're sitting here and they have deadlines and they have goals and they have different things in place. And like, oh, you need to get this game out by the 25th of next month. If you don't get this game out by the 25th of next month, you ain't got no job. You see what I'm saying? We're going to lay you off or we're going to do this or we're going to do it. I'm telling you guys, it's a lot of pressure behind the scenes to get these games out. So it ain't just the developers. It's also the publishers. You know what I mean? Or maybe the, the head person, the head, the head of the studio, the studio director or whoever the case may be that's over that studio. And it's just like, bro, where is the passion? This is 2024. Why are we still getting garbage? Why are we still getting games underperforming? Now people are looking forward to PS5 Pro this, PS5 Pro that, right? Why is that the case? We've been sitting here all this time waiting. Is PS5 Pro going to make our jobs better as gamers? Being able to experience games running at better frame rate and having better visuals? Probably not. If they don't patch, if they don't, if they don't patch the PSSR software, into their actual games and actually take the time to put more care and love into their games it ain't gonna happen it ain't so ps5 pro is gonna be useless it's literally gonna be useless. it's just gonna be like a useless thing just sitting in your house and you sitting there scratching your beard like oh man are we gonna get are we gonna get a game that's gonna utilize the ps5 pro same thing with the ps5 right so you have, on one hand you have developers saying, ah, PS5 Pro ain't necessary, right? It, it just ain't necessary right now. We haven't fully utilized the PS5 yet. And then on the other hand, I'm pretty sure some other developers out there be like, oh, shoot, uh, let's go. Let's go. PS5 Pro, let's go. You know what I mean? We already pushing the PS5 as is. So let's push it even further. Let's see if we can get every ounce of juice out of the ps5 pro and let's take that upscaling technology that sony is going to be prom promoting and put it into the games and so that so that our so that our brand can continue to thrive and to live on but it, yo it's just there are a dime a dozen my g there are a dime a dozen there are a dime a dozen right we don't we don't have a lot of that right now instead we're getting a bunch of garbage right uh p series x same thing ain't being fully utilized wait what's this oh it's over um 9, you know series x series x ain't even fully utilized what huh you know what i mean the world's most powerful console lazy friggin developers lazy and, and you know what these execs these head of worldwide studios they're the next ones too they need to be held accountable they're the next bunch of frauds they're the next ones that need to be held accountable. Don't sit here and tell me that this is all okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. What you're doing is not okay. So don't sit here and tell me, oh, no, this is fine. This is all great. No, this is so great. No, it's not great. Mm -mm, mm -mm. This ain't Frosted Flakes, okay? It, it is so great. No, it ain't. Because people are tired of waiting. This is year four, 
right? Dragon's Dogma 2. Look at this. They got to put out a patch right after the release of the game. They got to put out a patch for the for, for it so that we can have a, a, a at least a little bit better experience. Why is that? When you could have done that, you had 12 years. You you have 12 years, right? 12 years to develop this game and get this game right. Now you put this game out. Oh, we don't care. Let's put microtransactions in there. Let's 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 ruin the entire man. I'm so sick of even talking about this nonsense. It just it just man. Let, let's let's hope for a better gaming experience, guys. Let's hope for let's pray for these leaders. You know the the you know um Phil Spencer and Hiroki Kotoki and things of that. let's let's try to be optimistic about these games. You know, I mean, pray for these leaders, man, and 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 in hopes that and these developers, these lazy developers, you know what I'm saying? And these these publishers that's behind them, man. Let's let's pray for all of them because it, it's it's not looking too good in 2024. It's it's not. It's not looking too good. It's just it's just nonsense. Um, Geek the Sneak, thank you so much for the first membership comment today says what's up marlin and chat hope everyone is having a great day my man welcome to the stream appreciate you make sure you guys hit the like button for me very critical we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get started off into our first topic so if you do like the show you do like what we do here please hit that like button for me guys don't be sitting in the stream and don't hit the like button again like i said i can't do this without you guys help please retweet the stream if you are on twitter I would really, really appreciate if you do that um, and and hit that like button. We're going to talk about the PS5 Pro here uh, because we just got uh, some more information uh, regarding the Pro. And um, it's interesting because we're still waiting for Sony to come out with more information regarding the PS5 Pro. And I think ultimately, I think a lot of you dudes are generally, you know, looking forward to the Pro, I guess uh and wanting to know when sony is going to reveal the pro and i mean obviously we heard from jeff grubb not that long ago that the ps5 pro uh will be revealed in september apparently um and then get released sometime after that so we'll, we'll, you know we, we're still waiting on that a september reveal at this point for ps5 pro if it's still happening and then getting released you know maybe november or october of, the, of of this year uh which i think a lot of you dudes are probably going to be very extremely excited about that so um there is that one um lady g what's up i haven't seen lady g thank you so much for being a great member to the channel uh she says what's up uh marlon hello marlon gaming nation what's up lady g great to have you here and it's hype fridays man it's hype fridays thank you guys for being here today man it's hype fridays hit that like button for me guys and share the stream out let's get it man we're gonna get right into the news it's hype fridays man hype fridays where the hype at nah marlon they ain't nothing they ain't nothing to be hype about there's nothing to be hype about marlon i'm sorry man i'm sorry man I'm sorry, Marlon. Ain't nothing to be hype about. <laughs> I know some of y'all are like, man, ain't nothing to be hype about. There's nothing there, there, there's nothing to be hype about. Okay, so let's let's go talk about the PS5 Pro here. I'm expecting Sony to reveal the PS5 Pro very, very, very soon. Okay. Um or start talking about it or something. You know, considering that apparently they've been sharing specs with third party developers and things of that nature. So here is the situation. And I think this might make you guys happy. Um, One of the things that I feel like with the original PS5 that a lot of people didn't li did not like. And I remember this from four years ago. Four years ago, we were all well, not all of you guys were here, but. Some of y'all were here when uh, the PS5 got revealed and in 2020, and um, a lot of you dudes criticized the PS5 for being too big, right? Being too big and can't fit in your uh, under your entertainment center. Uh, it, it was just too big and heavy and this and that. And then obviously Sony came out with the PS5 Slim, right? And a lot of you dudes bought it regardless of the shortcomings of the PS5 Slim, a lot of you dudes were happy at the notion of having a smaller PS5 and not so much of the OG PS5 where it was a lot more taller and 
obviously bigger and heavier and things of that nature. And I know size of, of, of your devices really do matter. And I think moving forward, I can see Sony based on the complaints of the base PS5, you know, being too large and things of that nature. I can see Sony shrinking the size of other iterations of PlayStation. Maybe the PlayStation 6 might be a smaller console. Um, but what we're hearing here, this is a rumor and we're going to treat it, treat it as such. We're not going to get excited or anything like that. We're just reporting on this. This is a rumor until Sony comes out with official stuff, but Let's dig into this. So PS5 Pro CPU is on Zen 2 at 4 nanometer. Console size. Listen to this. This is where the size comes in. Console size believed to be smaller than the standard PS5. So that's good news. If it's true. Why, Marlon, why are you saying that? Because... If you remember four years ago, people were complaining about the size of the PS5, the OG PS5. Oh, it's too big, Marlon. Oh, it can't fit under my entertainment center. Oh, I got to put it on the ground, which it does have a stand. You can put it on the ground. Uh, but people did not like the big bulkiness of the OG PS5. When the PS5 Slim came out last year, everybody was like, oh, my God, Marlon, I love the Slim PS5. It's great. It's wonderful. It's very elegant. Well, apparently the PS5 Pro is going to be around the same form factor of the PS5 Slim. Not smaller than the PS5 Slim, but the same size factor of the PS5 Slim, okay? Now, that will be awesome to get a Slim PS5, right? Well, we're calling it Slim PS5, but a smaller uh, form factor of the PS5 Pro would be awesome, just like the Slim. That would be insane. Now... Let's dig into this and figure out where this information is coming from. So this is from YouTuber Moore's Law is Dead. Have a solid track record because obviously the information that he put out the other not too long ago regarding the PS5 Pro specs was later backed up by Tom Henderson and his sources. So it seems like Moore's Law is Dead have a solid track record here when it comes to leaking information. Now. It says YouTuber Moore's Law is Dead has revealed a new tad bits on PlayStation 5 Pro specs in its latest episode. It says uh, specifically mentioning the CPU, which is reportedly still on Zen 2. All right. So I think I remember hearing something about um, something higher than that. But nevertheless, um, it's apparently still Zen 2. And now it's engraved at a four nanometer chip. All right. So there is that. As previously reported, the PS5 Pro CPU isn't believed to be a massive increase over the original version of Sony's flagship console. However, Moore's Law is Dead is now added that the PSSR, which is the obvious upscaling technology, PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution, is not a fork of FSR 4. So it's not, okay? Now, Sony having uh developed it but shared some of their work with amd so that's apparently what's going on there now elsewhere listen to this elsewhere the report claims that the ps5 pro could be a bit smaller than the standard ps5 count me in for that one count me count me in i, I will i will forever love my og ps5 don't get it twisted but if if the design uh, here's here let's pause let me say this. One of my biggest criticism of the PS5 Slim, it just feels like a toy. It just feels cheap. The OG PS5 feels more premium in my eyes. It's only, I don't know if you guys understand what I'm trying to say, but the OG PS5, the build quality on the OG PS5 feels better. The parts... You know, the, the the aesthetics of it, it just looks better to me than the Slim. The Slim just feels like a made in China type dollar store type. It's almost as if like I went in a Best Buy to go buy a PS5 and they have the OG PS5 in there. And I'm like, hey, do y'all have the PS5 Slim? Nah, man, go check Dollar Tree. <laughs> 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 Excuse me? 
What do you say? Hey, man, I don't mean to be disrespectful. Go, you're deaf? No, God, I'm not deaf. What's wrong with you, bro? Go check Dollar Tree. And then I go over to Dollar Tree, and then there are PS5 Slims looking at me. <laughs> so, um, they, I'm uh, just my opinion, the PS5 Slims, they just look cheap. I just, they just, uh, I had one in my hands and you guys remember, I, I even, you know, opened the box and hold it in my hand. It felt like a toy. I was holding a PlayStation, like, I don't know, a shell of a PlayStation console or something like an imitation, an imitation of PlayStation console. I don't know. It just, it just it didn't sit right with me, but I really hope. Being at the PS5 Pro is a much more premium console that the build quality will be similar to the OG PS5 in terms of the plastic, in terms of the manufacturing process. I'm hoping for that, okay? So let me know your thoughts on that. But according to Elsewhere Reports, basically uh, the Pro could be smaller than the standard PS5, but not smaller than the slim version. So Pay attention to that, guys. Not smaller than the slim version, but it's supposed to be a bit smaller than the standard. So I would say it sounds like it's going to be in between the OG PS5 and the slim. It might be a little bit taller than the slim. I'm just throwing out my speculations out there. Judging from what we're reading here, it's not going to be smaller than the slim, but it's going to be obviously Again, not much bigger than the actual OG PS5, so a bit smaller. So it's probably going to be right in the middle between the Slim and the OG PS5, which is fine with me. Uh, as long as it's a slimmer version of the OG PS5, I'm, I'm in there. All right, and supposedly, here's the other part, the price. In terms of price, uh, Moore's Law is that speculates that Sony could position the new machine at $500 without a disk drive. Now, stop right there. I did make a video talking about this on the channel. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. We talked about the price of the PS5 Pro coming from Moore's Law's debt. I can see, what do you guys think about that? $500. I can see the PS5 Pro going for 500 bucks without the disk drive. With the disk drive, $600. That's what I see. Now, for all we know, it could be more or it could be less. But $500, that is a very appealing price for the PS5 Pro. If Sony wants, this is up to Sony. You know, this is subject to change at this point. Everything is up to Sony to decide. But I feel like if they want to sell the Pro, which I should be asking you guys that because y'all are the ones that are going to be buying it. Maybe you might buy it, maybe you're not. But I'm just being honest with you guys. If the PS5 Pro is marketed as a $500 console, this drive or not, people are going to buy it. What, Marlon, why are you saying that? Because the standard PS5, the Slim, which Sony is going to slowly phase out the OG PS5, which they already been saying that they were going to do because they still have existing inventory of the OG PS5, and they're going to sell out the rest of inventory that they have for the OG PS5. And then the Slim is going to be the new, new PS5, like the standard PS5 that people can go and get it in stores. I believe when I went to a couple of stores recently, I didn't see a lot of OG PS5s on the shelf. I saw more Slims. So it, it, is, it, it is apparently true. I mean, Sony themselves said it, that they were going to phase out the OG PS5 once the Slim came out last year. And so if the Slim is at 500 people are gonna look at the pro and be like oh this is more powerful and i can i can already see parents i can already see you know brothers sisters husbands wives they're like or just you guys and just 500 oh i'm uh, sign me up you know what i mean and, and maybe and maybe maybe some of you probably be saying well shoot, it's, it's more powerful, you know, or it's better or whatever. I can, I, I, I can see how certain consumers think like, they'd be like, oh, $500. Oh, I'll do it. I shoot. All my games are digital anyway. And this is, this is what's probably going to make it a success. And this is why I tell people all the time, pricing 
as somebody that has worked sales pretty much all my life, I've been doing sales, right? I've been working in Walmart. I've worked in Blockbuster. I've worked in um, Game Crazy. Some of y'all youngins probably don't know about Game Crazy. Um, you know, I, you name this retail store, I've worked there, okay? And and sell cars. I used to sell cars. So I, I have an idea of how this works, okay? You want to make sure you, you have a good start. How do you have a good start? By making the price really good. You see what I'm saying? To reel the people in. How you reel people in? Have a good product and a good price to go with it, right? An affordable price to go with it. $500 is literally the price for these consoles in general. If you're coming out with a pro model and it's the same price as the standard, people are going to buy that pro model. And that's going to help boost the sales of the PS5 in general, right? Because you're starting off at five. Now, if you're saying the base PS5 is $50 more than the standard, like let's say for instance, the digital is 550, right? Not saying it will, I'm just saying throw numbers up there, 550. Mm, some people will be like, eh, I'm not paying $50 more for this. I'm just serious. I'm just, I'm being, I'm being, I know, I know some people are going to come after me and say, oh my, it's just $50, bro. You don't know everybody's financial situations like that. Like some people might just say, hey, Marlon, I can't afford $50 more. I, I, that's 50 bucks, man. You know what I mean? Like, I feel you. I feel you can't afford $50 more. I understand that. But at the same time, you're going to have some other consumers that will be like, oh, $50 more than the standard PS5 for all of that. I'm buying it. So it's just like you got to you, you got to try to find a way to appeal to everybody. Right. But a lot of times when you price something, it's not going to appeal to everybody because some people are going to still believe that it's too expensive, even though it's fifty dollars more. It just it just really boils down to what Sony wants to do. For all we know, it could be more. It could be one hundred dollars more. You do have to understand inflation. Right, you do have to understand the economy the way it is right now. Everything is expensive. You know, I mean, interest rates gone up, gas prices gone up, food gone up, rent gone up, everything went up. So I, I'm not expecting these game games to 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 be the same or consoles to be the same. Um, also, just to throw this in there, since we're talking about pro price and specs and all this stuff, apparently. Um, there were some pictures floating around. Don't know if you guys have seen it. I'm pretty sure you probably have already seen it. Some of y'all are on Twitter a lot. Um, if you're not, then let me tell you, uh, there's a white series X that's been floating around and things of that nature. Um, seems like it's in the manufacturing process right now and it's in a factory or something. And somebody took a picture of it. It's a white series X with no disc drive. Okay. And apparently it's supposed to be coming out summer, this summer or something like that. Don't know how many of you guys are going to buy it. I, I honestly, I thought, I thought based off of the, the court documents that got leaked out, uh, you know, during the FTC Activision buyout situation and they were describing the series X or the, the ref, well, not a refresh, but, uh, the redesign or the all digital series X and the design of it, obviously it was just a concept, right? And it was supposed to have two terabytes of hard drive and Wi-Fi seven and blah, 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 and all this extra stuff. And I'm just like, really? Are we, are we being for real? So I mean, guys, I, I, I don't know. I, I really, really don't know at this point. And I'm like, so if they're struggling right now to sell series X's, right? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be realistic about this stuff. You can't hype up this stuff, man. The older I get, man, it's just like, you don't hype up stuff like this. You know, it's like, you just got to think, think, because that's what these companies are supposed to be doing. Think if you're struggling and we heard from developers at GDC that most developers don't even want to work with Xbox because the console ain't selling, right? We just learned what well, not too long ago that sales are down 47% for console sales. Ding, 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 ding. And you're going to come out with a Series X, all digital? Like, it's going to sell, but it's not going to sell like 
Microsoft is thinking it will. Because if the OG, if the OG Series X that's standing right here right now ain't selling as much as Microsoft would like, because if it was, the numbers wouldn't be down that much, right? Not only that, if I want to play a game digitally, heck, what am I talking about? Game Pass is digital. So most of the time, I don't even use my disk drive. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. These companies, that's why they're in business to do what they do. I'm just trying to make sense out of it logically. This Series X right now currently that I have, I rarely put this in there. Rarely. Right? I play the games digital. I have game once you have Game Pass, you're playing digitally. Majority of you dudes with Series X's and PC, you play digitally. Am I right or am I wrong? You do. So, with that being said, why am I going to buy a white Series X for with no disk drive? That makes no sense. That's like me wasting money. But granted, I do know that there's a lot of you dudes out there that care for these digital consoles. Not me. Not me. I, I like to have the option, all right, of having, and that's why I love my Series X, because if I want to pop in a, a game, a physical game in there, I can. I have that luxury. And this is why it's important for Sony to keep on doing the same thing that they're doing with the PS5 Slim, right? They, they give you an all-digital PS5 Slim, they give you a PS5 with a disk drive, and they also give you the option to buy the disk drive if you want to, right? Because digital media is what every, even though I tell people and warn people about digital media all the time, I say, man, don't be putting all your eggs in one basket with digital media because you never know. Just like the Stellar Blade demo situation where it, 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 the Sony accidentally, somebody at Sony accidentally had butterfingers and, and, and tap a button way too quick. And the, the demo got released and then they went on ahead. Even if you had it downloaded to your hard drive, they still revoked the license. They still took away that license. What does that tell you? Digital media, digital gaming is scary because same thing with the, um, Funimation situation. I mean, there's a lot of signs pointing towards an all digital future. It's very scary, at least for me. So I'm not sitting here buying an all digital console. No, I need to have a physical disk drive because if anything happens to that, all that digital media, hey, at least I have my physical game. I can pop in and I can play at any moment in time. But some of you dudes are going to buy it. Some of you dudes, because it's the latest tech, I do know there's a large amount of people that buy technology because it's new anything new drops they buying it but i just don't see the logic behind a digital series x i see a logic behind a handheld now if, if if they come out with this handheld um xbox you know i'll buy it i'll buy it in a heartbeat I, because i love xbox and if i if that means that i can play game pass on the go natively not no cloud gra crap. Now, I, I'm not a big fan of the cloud, but I'm an old school gamer. If I can play natively like I did on my Game Boy, like I did on my Game Boy Color, like I did on my PSP, my PS Vita, and the list goes on and on and on and on and on. At my Game Boy Advance, if I can play natively, we good. We good. Or if I can play natively like I can on my, 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 my Steam Deck, we're good. I don't want to do no cloud nonsense. Okay. Now, if they do that, I'll buy it. And if they, if they, if they do the, the whole, um, the, 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 the X cloud situation as a secondary thing, like, oh yeah, you can take advantage of X cloud, blah, blah, blah. It does have Wi-Fi seven or Wi-Fi six E or blah, 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 whatever. Right. Oh, fine. Count me in. I'm, I'm let, let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. I'm in there. I'm in there, baby. Let's go. Let's get it popping. Uh, you got me. All right. Now, make sure the price is right. Don't talk about no $500. Now, if you're talking about like, say, $350 or $300, $299, I'm in there. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll buy it. I'll support Microsoft. I'll support the industry. But that's just me, though. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section. Hit that like button for me and share the stream out. All right. Let's move on here. Oh, boy. GTA 6, baby. <laughs> All 
Oh, boy. Boys was upset. Boys was big mad. Boys was mad about GTA 6 possibly getting delayed. I mean, that's how you know people want to play this game so bad. I mean, the views speaks for itself, guys. Views never lie. I always tell people, like, you want to know how successful a content creator is or a video is or anything online is? Look at the views. Look at the views. And obviously, GTA 6 trailer is, like, the most viewed video game trailer of all times at this point. And, yo, I'm telling you, like, people was losing their mind just looking, just looking at that trailer, you know, and can't wait to... Um, and, and, and can't wait to basically, you know, take over uh, the game and stuff like that. So it's it's a it's a crazy shenanigans going on right now. But I'm telling you, y'all think this is a joke. This was coming from Forbes. OK, take two stock. Right. Tumbles after GTA six rumor of potential delay. Y'all think I was joking. Right. Just because of a rumor saying that that's how powerful this game is just because of a rumor saying that this game could potentially get delayed see that's why i said now i believe that it might not get delayed because rockstar are probably looking at this and be like um we can't afford to delay gta 6 <laughs> <laughs> we don't want no parts of that <laughs> i'm pretty sure that's probably what they're saying like we don't want no parts of that. Like, no, 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 no. We got to come up with this game ASAP, okay? Because if we delay this, oh, it ain't going to be good for our, for our publisher. It ain't going to be good for Take-Two. It ain't going to be good for none of us because our stocks are going to drop. Bro, just off of a rumor. And it, sh and it shows you how powerful these rumors are. You see what I'm saying? Because if everybody is talking about it, then that means it have some type of weight and have some type of impact. And that's what happened with GTA 6 delayed rumor situation from Kotaku. And even when I was talking about it or whatever, I said, mm, this don't carry no water. Like, I don't even really know. But let's talk about it because people tag me and message me about it saying, hey, Marlon, you need to talk about this. But let's dig into this. All right. This is no joke. This is coming from PlayStationLifestyle.net. Let's go over this and let's discuss this. It said that GTA 6 release date delay report was overblown, according to Bloomberg. A recent report by Kotaku claimed that GTA 6 release date was originally set for some time in Q1 of 2025, but the game is potentially facing a delay into 2026. The news result in publisher Take-Two Interactive stock plummeting by 5.2%. What? <laughs> what? Five, calm down, Marlon. 5.2%. But Bloomberg's Jason Schreier claims that the report was overblown, while other known insiders have pointed out that GTA 6 was never confirmed for Q1 2025 to begin with. Ouch. Okay. So there is still a possibility of GTA 6 release date slipping out of 2025. Ouch. Okay, following the publication of Kotaku's article, a number of known insiders, including Tom Henderson, questioned the report, with some criticizing it for being purely mm, garbage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lies. Mm hmm. Yeah, mm hmm. All right, so yeah, so we don't know at this point. All of this is just speculation. Uh, for all we know, it could get delayed. For all we know, it could still come out in 2025. With the PS5 Pro on the horizon, ladies and gentlemen, anything is possible, right? PS5 Pro could be coming out later this year, or it could get delayed to next year, or it could not come out at all. Same thing with GTA 6. We don't know. This is all pure speculation at this point. Everybody's saying, oh, she say, she say this. Oh, he said that. Oh, I heard this. I heard that. And most of them th haven't heard a darn thing. <laughs> all it is is just speculation. So like I said, the older I get, it's just like, yeah, okay. We will see. If it ain't coming from Rockstar and Take-Two, yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> or maybe say Tom Henderson like Tom Henderson have gotten a lot of things correct in the past, but he could still be wrong on things. And again, don't get your hopes up, guys. Be Have an open mind for 2025. Anything can get delayed. Yo, Brandon, what's up? 
Anything can get delayed. Anything can get pushed back, whatever. We'll see what happens on that. All right, let's talk about Stellar Blade 2. Or let's talk about Stellar Blade in general. Okay, this is a very important discussion that we're going to be having on the channel. So I need you guys to chime in, all right? So Stellar Blade, hopefully you guys are playing the actual demo. For a lot of you dudes who don't know, the demo dropped and everything. So make sure you guys go download that demo. Now it's for real this time. It's for real. <laughs> It's, it's for real this time, okay? Okay, all right. So let's talk about this. Why are we talking about Stellar Blade 2, Marlon, when Stellar Blade is not even out yet? I know, I know. Calm down. Calm down. Pump your brakes. This is coming from PlayStationLifestyle.net. Stellar Blade sequel. Uno. Dos. Dos now. Dos. So Stellar Blade is already... Part two, part two, already being teased. PS5 exclusive Stellar Blades had, has yet to be released, and there's already talk about Stellar Blade 2. Developer Shift Ups seems keen to explore possibilities. If its comments in a recent interview are anything to go by, however, the studio made it clear, listen to this, that it needs to sell enough copies for the upcoming game first. What do I tell you guys? Buy the games, right? If, if, if the games appeal to you, which Stellar Blade shouldn't have no problem because there is a lot of thirsty plants out there in the jungle. That's all I got to say. I'm just going to use that analogy. There are so many thirsty plants that are dying for a drop of rain to allow them to grow even more, okay? So best believe as soon as we get that shower of rain, these plants, these vegetables and everything in the jungle will start growing and start flourishing. OK, if there ain't no rain, they ain't going to be no growth. And so with that being said, by the looks of that, it seems as though that a lot of people are hyped for Stellar Blade. Now, obviously, because of the look of the character, right, for a lot of people. Some people don't even care about the gameplay. They just look at the character and be like, oh, oh my God. Yeah, I'm getting it. I'm getting still a blade, baby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> okay. Um, so I don't think this game is going to have any issues selling. I think they will be able to make a still a blade too. I feel like this game is going to, people are going to beat this game and then they're going to want more. I just hope that this is not going to be a days gone situation. A lot of you guys who don't know, it was up in speculations that Days Gone sold about 8 million copies or a little over 8 million copies. And obviously, yeah, the sequel didn't happen, right? Which sucks. And instead, now they're making some AAA live service type game. Okay. So, obviously, the only way that this is going to happen is if people buy the game, right? That's that's one part. Will Stellar Blade 2 have Sony's blessings, which it also needs Sony's blessing as well, because if the game ain't selling well, Sony be like, nah, we good. We good. <laughs> <laughs> especially, especially Hiroki Kotoki. You we know how Hiroki Kotoki is. You know what I mean? Especially Sony is under penny pension, a uh, penny pension mindset right now. You know what I mean? We're only going to spend money on what we need, not what we want. All right? It's what we need right now, not what we want. And so, I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see when the game comes out. If y'all haven't pre-ordered the game, some of y'all played the demo and liked the demo. I'm trying to help y'all out and help out the industry. Some of y'all already said you love Stellar Blade based on what you have saw, based on the demo. Please go buy the game. Go buy it. Because I don't want to hear no sob story when the game the game sales come out and oh they say now they saying oh we're not making another one and then you sitting here and be like oh I love Stellar Blade what they mean they're not making another one Rem come back to the same stream on what we were talking about buy the game if you love the game you like what you're seeing you like the support the support the game by buying it all right there's that so obviously we have uh, Shift Up CEO here. 
in a recent interview with Famatsu, um, thanks Game Radar, Kim was quizzed about the protagonist Eve's age and if players will find out how old she is as the game progresses. Who cares about how old she is? I don't care. All I care about is the gameplay. What the heck? He said, Kim responded by saying that those who are curious about Eve's age should play Stellar Blade and suggest that if there's enough demand for another entry, we may find out the character's age in the sequel. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Smart. They really... But who is going to sit there and... Yeah, I care so much about the character's age that I need a sequel. Most people are not going to care about a character's age like that to the point where they're like, oh, my God, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I need to know her age. Don't care how old she is. She could be 80 years old for all I care. I don't care. Now, some people might say, hey, you know, uh, her her age is, I don't know, 25, uh, 20. I don't know what this character's age is, but I don't care. <laughs> I just want to play the game. That's all I want to do. I want to play the game. Um, it's possible that Kim's comment were uh, made in jest. Mm -hmm. um, but it's equally possible that Sony will order a sequel should the first game do well. Of course. So we'll see. Make sure y'all go download that demo because Sony be tracking that too as well. Um, make sure y'all also hit that like button, hit that share button for me. All right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, who care who cares about that? Like I don't I just want to play the game. I just want but but like but like he was explaining. Wait, why is my seat not going up? There we go. Um but like he was saying, you know, anything is possible. You know, they might they might do the age reveal for the character in part 2 or something like that, but Y'all let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section. All right, guys, that concludes the main show. That's all we have uh, for the main part of the show. So we are in the Q&A portion of the show right now. So if you have any... Qu oh, wait, hold on, Marlon. Oh, Marlon, Marlon. <laughs> hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on to you. Hold on to your seats. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot Dragon's Dogma too. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, hold on, hold on. We ain't done yet. We ain't done yet. Hold on to your seats. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So let's talk about Dragon uh, Dragon Dogma, okay? Dragon's Dogma too. All right. Um, we do have an update for you guys, so we're going to go over that and we're going to discuss that. Make sure you guys hit the like button for me. Share the stream. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. I appreciate y'all. All right, so Dragon's Dogma 2 update 1.050 is live. Improves PS5 performance. As promised, Capcom has rolled out Dragon's Dogma 2 1.050, which improves PS5 performance, which fixes numerous bugs. The update is currently only available on the PS5 PC with Series X and S versions to follow in a few days. So the PS5 and PC version is out currently right now. It says uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 update 1. Point, uh, yeah, the 1.050 update patch notes. Uh, so for PS5 and Steam, added the option to start a new game when save that already exists. Changing the number of art uh, uh, in the game, in, uh, items and pawn gills. Okay, let's see here. Where, where's the where's the actual performance stuff? Okay, here we go. It says adding the option to switch motion blur on and off in options, adding the option to switch ray tracing on and off in options, and then adding the option to set frame rate at max 30 FPS in options. So that's what y'all want, right? Max 30 FPS. <laughs> What's your feeling on the graphics? On what graphics? What graphics? What game? Let me know. Uh, Steam. Let's get on Steam. Improving quality when DLSS super resolution is enabled. Fixing an issue related to display of models on their specific uh, settings. So there it is, guys. Hopefully, y'all playing Dragon's Dogma 2. I will not be buying this game until there's a 60 FPS option. Sorry, can't do it. And I'm sticking to my word. There's that, guys. Let's get to the Q&A portion. All right. Q&A, Q&A, yay, yay. 
Q&A, Q&A, let's go. All right, Q&A time, boys. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's make, let, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, hit that like button for me. Hit that like, what, what game, what game are you talking about, Piper? What game are you talking about? He said Marlin Rise of the Ronin has been updated today. Oh, did it? What kind of update? All right, hit that like button for me, guys. Come in with your questions. Super chats are welcome. If you have any super questions during the Q&A, uh, consider gifting a member. Um, if you do feel led so, everything is optional. Oh, Stellar Blade graphics looks good. It looks good. It looks good. Stellar Blade graphics looks good, Piper. Thank you for the $2. It looks good. I don't know, Kwame. Maybe they're still working on it. I don't know why. I don't know why it's later, but they're still working on it. Yeah, they're still working on Xbox. Apparently, they said Xbox is later. Yeah, so they I guess they need more time. They need more time. They need more time for the Xbox version. They need more time. Thank y'all for the support. I appreciate y'all. Stellar Blade's graphics. Yeah, Stellar Blade graphics does look good. Brian, what's up, man? How you doing? Let's get it popping, bro. We out here. Hey, I already played the demo. I already played the demo and finished the demo. Y'all forgot I played it? Already played it and finished it. Oh, the Godzilla movie. Yeah, that looks very good. Oh, I'm doing good, Brian. You know, on the grind, back at it again, man. Ah, uh, probably over, <sighs> over 12 years for sure. That's the longest I've heard. Yo! Dumpy! Dumpy getting us... What? Oh, Dumpy getting us started, getting the train started. It's over nine. Woo! Let's go with the five gifted sub with the nuke. Let's go. Let's go, man. Dumpy getting us started. Let's get it. Hey, thank you for the five gifted subs. Let's go, man. Hype Fridays, baby. Hey, let's get it. Yo, it's yo, put some, put some respect on Dumpy's name, man. Dumpy, shout outs, bro. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Getting that Hype Friday started. Getting that hype train started. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, sir. Hit that like button, baby. <laughs> he said, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. If we get 20 members, if we get 20 gifted members, then I'll dance. I'll definitely dance for sure. We get 20 gifted subs. I'll dance. <laughs> I'll dance for sure. You're right. You're right. Capono, you're right, man. We get 20 gifted subs. I'll dance. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll do that. <laughs> we'll, I'll get up and dance. Oh, yeah. For, for 20 gifted subs? Oh, yeah. I'll do that. You're right. You're doggone right. Yes, sir. Um, Finesse with the $2 getting us started on the hype train. 
DJ, spin that joint. Let's get it, man. Let's get it, man. Hey, let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. We in this piece. Let's get it. All right, what we got here? He said, are you going to put your Stellar Blade stream up? I actually deleted that mug. I actually deleted that mug, Fennis, because I wanted to be safe. I didn't know if Sony was going to be going around and doing anything crazy for people who um, was playing it. So I deleted it. Um, yeah, I deleted it. <laughs> he said, don't break your back. <laughs> I'm going to try not to. I'm I'm gonna try I'm gonna try not to. It's just gonna be a simple dance. That's all. <laughs> it's gonna be an old man dance. <laughs> oh. Uh, to put your Stellar Blade stream up. Yeah, it's gonna be. <laughs> yeah, old man style. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He says, getting ready to play Stellar Blade. Oh, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. He said, 20, throw your PS5. Throw my PS5. I'm about to throw my PS5. 20 gifted subs ain't worth 20. Uh, 20 gifted subs ain't worth 500 bucks. I can tell you that. They ain't worth my PS5. <laughs> no, sir. <-ry. laughs> hey, no, sir. <laughs> Not happening. You crazy? crazy you crazy sir not happening okay it's not happening <laughs> now i'll go super saiyan i'll go super saiyan that's that's easier i, I go super saiyan that's easier i'll go i that's way easier make sure y'all hit the like button if you enjoyed the show today <laughs> y'all are crazy man y'all are some crazy folks up in this piece crazy Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Marlon, God is good all the time. Every day, every second, every minute. Yes, he is great all the time. I paid $800 for my PS5 in the pandemic. Ooh. I know some of y'all paid a lot of money for y'all PS5s because it was sold out and it was very hard to get. Yeah, Johnny, I did talk about it. Whoa, Ninja, what? With the 220? Uh, this is, this is, is this how we end in the month of March off? With the biggest donation? $20 to get the hype train started? What? What? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Wait a minute. Hold up, man. Hold up, man. Hold. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ninja with the 20? With the silent 20? Getting us started on a hype Friday? With the silent 20? Shh. My man with the biggest donation. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Next one. I'm going to be falling out the chair for the next one. All right. Um, let's see here. He says, don't know why I can't gift members, but I'm always down to support Marlon. Can't wait to play that Stellar Blade demo. Oh, really? You have to do it. Don't know why I can't gift members, but I'm always he's down to support Marlon. Yeah, you have can't to wait to play that Stellar Blade demo. Yeah, you have to hit the join button. You have to hit the join button um and and then it will allow you to do it or i can give you a link that you can um that you can use uh a link directly from youtube that you can use but you you can't be on your phone though doing it you have to be on like a web browser like google chrome on your phone or something like that and then then you can then you can um then you can proceed from there uh so yeah um so yeah let me let me see uh let me see yeah like, yeah we end in the month of month are we ending the month of 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 march strong we got to end off the month strong guys come on hype fridays let's go 
we got to end this month off strong every month we got to end strong every month that god has given us we end a month off strong so i appreciate y'all let's go crazy oh don't be what oh let's go oh let's go oh let's go oh let's go our membership i'm gonna tell you right now pause 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 our membership is down by 76 percent so we 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 are down big time all right that means that a lot of people who have gotten gifted memberships in the past two months has fallen off so if you guys want to support the channel that's a very good way to support the channel okay is by gifting members and and joining our membership community because it definitely does help out we have a private discord um whenever we are having our game nights you guys can play uh via invite you guys get to talk to us live um tons of stuff giveaways will be coming back soon once things are picked up but yeah our membership is down right now big time so we need to try to get our membership uh back up to our to our goal of 200. um right now we have 124 members total so we got it we got to try to get that number up uh get that number to 200 um but yeah here is the link let me see if i can um it says invite viewers to join the channel all right so here here it is right here let's go man dumpy welcome hey dumpy make sure you go i'm gonna send you an invite to the private discord right now okay that's also one of your perks so let me send you an invite to our private oh Oh boy. Invite to our private Discord. Okay. Every member get access to our private Discord community uh, where you guys can talk and you know, you know, share, share the stream. We'll talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. Just have a good time, you know. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the invite into the member uh, tab right now. So any member who joins, get access to our private Discord community. So you can talk to me one-on-one -on, -one on a voice chat. Um, message me at any time to talk and, you know, I'll be down to talk to the members and stuff. So that's really, really cool. And, um, once things start picking back up, we'll, we'll, we'll have more giveaways and more stuff popping. So appreciate you guys, all members. All right. So I'm putting the private discord invitation in for all the channel members. Okay. So I'm updating it again. So there you guys go. Um, the link is there. So dumpy, you'll see the link there. All right, so welcome aboard, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Yeah, we we are like this red bar right here. We need we need to get that goal going. Like we need some we need to get that goal going. So the goal, let me end this goal right quick. Let me end this goal right quick and um let me end this goal right quick. And uh, we, we're going to start up a new goal, all right? So we, we're like at one. Okay, so MGN. MGN member. MGN member goal. All right, so the goal amount is. We need 75. We need 75 more members. All right, we need 75 more members. That's what we need to get to that 200 75 more members we need um let's do 12 5, um 24 all right there we go <clears throat> all right so there we go the goal is 75 guys there it is i just put it up there so there's the big bar right there. We just, oh God. Yeah, so we need, member goal is 75. So for every gifted member or anybody uh, that gifts a membership, it helps fill up this bar here. And then once it gets to 75, then there it is, right? That, that red bar will be filled up. So there's that, I had to update that. All right, let's get back to the Q and A. Let's get it. Um. On phone, yeah, you you do pull it up on your um on your on your web browser, like on your if you have um uh, Google Chrome, pull it up on Google Chrome on your phone, and you could do it like that. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> 
He says, uh, he says my PS5 day one was free $800, $800 store credit. Wow. Um, Devastator, my man. What's up, man? Hey. What's up? Devastator says PS5 Pro possibly uh, be $500. It says I'm down for that. It says let GTA 6 get delay. I'm going to be mad. And uh, White Digital Series X should should have been came out. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I, same thing I was saying. Like, what's the point of that right now? But I guess some people are going to buy it, right? I guess, I guess, I guess some people are going to buy it. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. So we'll see. Yes. My, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Exact exactly Gilly. Yeah, members grow the channel. Yes, it does. It definitely it definitely does. Our membership community is down big time right now. So we we gotta try to build that back up. Um Spawn says he says word on the street is that Xbox is put in Steam on the next So I heard. I that's why I didn't report on it. It's just Phil Spencer didn't say that. He said he would be down for other digital storefronts to be on um to be on Xbox, but I don't know. He says, Marlon, um, what helps the channel more? Um, well, a mixture of a mixture of all um, super chats helps the channel. Um, gifted subs, gifted memberships that helps the channel. You guys hitting the like button <laughs> that helps the channel. That's why I always stress hit that like button. That's for free. You hit the like button, um, sharing the sharing the stream that helps the channel subscribing to telling other people to subscribe to the channel that helps the channel every single thing helps you know what i mean you guys commenting in here that helps the channel so anything to help our community grow you know what i mean it don't necessarily have to be finances it's just every every single thing that you could do to interact with our show helps us now you know everything else is optional in terms of finances whatever you guys want to bless our show with it helps because what that does is that it helps us to reinvest into the channel and get new equipment and get new tech and new things you know so it it all helps out it all helps out um and join stella blade so far that's what's up i'm happy to hear that it says so the youtube uh, algorithm must you no no it does not views views for sure views um, it says my eldest son is watching me play right now. Oh boy. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, just join the discord. Hey, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Um, there you go. There you go. That's, that's one of y'all perks is the private discord. So y'all, y'all can talk amongst each other and, you know, have a great time. So I appreciate you guys, man. Thank y'all for, for the support. Thank y'all for watching the streams, for liking the streams, for sharing the streams. And yeah, so there's that. Any more questions? Any more concerns, guys? Feel free. Any more questions? Any more concerns? Besides Stella Blade Demo, what else are you guys going to be playing? I want to know. I want to know what else you guys are going to be playing. That's what I want to know. What else you guys are going to be playing? Tag me at Marlin Gaming Nation. Make sure y'all hit the like button for me, guys. What else are y'all going to be playing? Um, He says, yeah, Phil never confirmed. No, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He said, Marlin, you speak on other things. That's rumors. You can't speak on the fact that Microsoft wants. Um, I did cover it. I did talk about the fact that they wanted storefronts, digital storefronts on the Xbox, but I wasn't saying that, oh, Steam and Epic Games is going to be there, like saying all that other stuff. I did talk about it. I did talk about it. I don't know if you were watching the show. I did talk about it. I don't know where you were at the last stream that I did, but I did talk about it. And I said, Phil Spencer doesn't mind the idea of, of, of having digital store additional digital storefronts on on xbox so i did talk about that been talked about that so yep there's that next thank you for the five um so that's why i say switch it up and add more uh to the channel to get more engagement switch what up what are you talking about 
He says, I sent you DM and PSN message about the Discord. Dude is ruining the Discord server. Disrespectful. Man, I don't know how many times I've said numerous times for people to keep it clean in the Discord and make it make it a friendly community. I'm going to delete that Discord. They don't stop. I'm going to I'm going to put out a message today and say, if y'all don't if y'all don't stop being disrespectful in this Discord, I'm going to delete it. And then that's a perk that we just not going to have anymore. I'm, I'm tired of it because people beg me and ask me for the discord. And then when they, whenever I do give a discord, it's like, we just can be grownups and act civilized. You know, it's just so much nonsense going on. Like everybody going after, man, I don't have time for the drama, bro. It makes zero sense to me why people are acting like this. Zero sense. It makes no sense to me, but what do you, what do you, what are you going to do? You know, like, it's just, it's, it's crazy. He said, Marlon, how is the new Final Fantasy? Oh, it's good. It's good. If you haven't played it, it's good. It's good. Marlon, you speak on other things. That's rumors you can speak on the fact that Microsoft wants to put other storefront. Already talked about that already. Just answer his question. So there's that. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess around and delete that Discord. If people don't stop, I'm gonna delete it. Like I'm so serious. I am so serious, man. I am so serious. If people don't stop, I'm gonna delete it. So serious. He says, I forgot Wolverine is uh is number one, aka oh Lord, here you go. Can we stop this number one nonsense? <laughs> Can we stop this number one nonsense? Good lord. Can we stop that? Number one. Oh, this is number one. That's number one. I'm like, oh Lord, here we go. We can't just stop talking about number this this remember this remember that sweet god just remember to remember um um not right now brian i'm not issuing out mods just yet because there's just a lot of there's a lot of stuff to do in the discord right now um and i don't want to put that on anybody like I've already, my wife, she's already uh, managing it as well, and I also have another person right now. But I'm, I'm kind of holding, holding off just a bit because it, it's such a mess right now. It really is. I'm tired of freaking complaints. You know, it's like you try to be nice to people and give people a, a outlet where they can all communicate and talk and have a good time and just keep it gaming and and people just doing all sorts of shenanigans uh, i just don't have the time for it man i really don't so i think i you know if if i hear more and more complaints i'm just gonna go ahead and delete delete the discord and be done with it and never to never bring it never bringing it back again i'm so serious because i'm tired of the complaints um yeah it's it's annoying man it's annoying very annoying and I get annoyed really, really quickly. You know what I mean? Especially when I'm, I've am i already said to just everybody just chill and, you know, have a good time, keep it clean. And it's like people just don't care. So I'm not going to care. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. And that solves that problem. Um. Oh, bro, I'm ready, bro. I'm ready. Big Al, I'm ready. Uh, I says that that's kind of funny. I says low key be laughing. Mm. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. But people are going to be people. So what can I say? What can I say? People are going to be people.
any more questions any more concerns i know this is easter weekend so i know some of you guys are going to be busy today um and stuff like that any more questions any more concerns any more questions any more concerns any more questions uh let's see it says i paid a thousand dollars when the ps5 was hard to get it says what about the pro <laughs> yeah the pro is gonna be the pro is gonna be ridiculously expensive for sure that discord kind of funny i low-key be laughing mm, 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 mm. i'm messing around and delete it bro i'm so serious they keep that mess up it's gonna be gone that's it so i don't have time bro i don't have time i really don't so they keep keep up keep it up go and delete it um it said marlon you're good bro he says stop letting people get in your head seriously no it's not it's not getting in my head it's an ongoing issue in the discord if you were a member you understand how messy the discord is because it's all sorts of drama it's not getting in my head it's the reality the discord is annoying right now like people are just being disrespectful in the discord saying a bunch of nonsense and acting crazy so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and delete it I mean, then it just, hey, we just communicate how we communicate. Come to the streams and we'll talk. You know, that's it. I don't know what else to do. Because, you know, people, I have I have mods in place, you know, people to talk to, you know, filter out all the stuff and everything. And it seems like that's not working. So, you know, you have mods in place to tell them, hey, act right, do this, do that, whatever. People just don't want to, don't want to, don't want to listen. So. It's annoying, man. Um, mm, 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 mm. It says, what are you going to put into? I'm not replacing it with nothing. That's it. We're just not going to have no discord. That's it. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this one last time. I'm going to have a cleanup one last time. And I'm going I'm to put a message in there one last time. And if I hear any more complaints, that's it. It's, 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 I, it's getting deleted. Um, He said, Marlon, just uh, be the person who says who's getting errors and drama. He says, bro, he says, just going to gaming for us. He said, oh, appreciate that. Appreciate that, PS5. Appreciate that. I don't have time for it, man. I don't have time for it. So it is what it is. People can just be you know keep things professional and stuff and there's a lot of grown-ups in there too like i just i don't understand i don't i don't i don't get it so i don't have time to be dealing with that stuff i don't i really don't too much drama i don't do drama around here you know what i mean we don't do drama around here i don't have time for the drama i stay away from drama i don't like it man i don't i don't you know and it gets really annoying and people just don't know how to act right. You know, it's just like, man, what are we doing? Like, seriously. I don't know. But I'm not going to hold you guys up today. If y'all don't have any more questions, then we're just going to end the stream off for today. Enjoy your Easter weekend. Um, and we'll be back here on Monday with more um, news. Hopefully we get some more news on, on things for you guys. And, you know. April brings some really amazing announcements um, because right now it's just psh, gaming is just like ugh, right now um, in terms of announcements and stuff. So appreciate you guys for being here, man. Make sure you guys hit the like button for me. Hit that share button for me. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to call it a day. I'm done for today. I'm not going to. Uh, I said, do you think Stella Bay can run on PS4? Yeah, I think it can. I think it can. Uh, he says, you give it your heart and give us all. It said, time for us to put in the much work. Hey, appreciate that, bro. Appreciate that. Happy Easter, guys. You know, enjoy your Easter weekend and, and everything. I'm not going to keep you guys up. All right. Uh, enjoy your weekend. Uh, and I'll see you guys back here on Monday. God bless. Godspeed. Put God first. Everything in last. Keep it gaming. And peace.